In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll guide you through how to create a Gantt chart in Excel that maps out dates on your project timeline. Here's a breakdown of the steps we'll go through in this tutorial. And just a quick note here, I performed the following steps in Microsoft Excel 365 for Mac, but the basic workflow should be the same on a PC or in any version of Excel with minor changes. Let's get started. Let's start with a blank spreadsheet in Excel. Then create columns for task name, start date, end date, and duration, and fill those cells with the basic details of your project tasks. Format the name column as text, the start and end date columns as dates, and the duration column as a number. If you want to organize your chart into phases with subtasks, add a row before the first task in each project phase and enter the dates for each task group. For the start date, enter the start date of the first task or milestone in the phase. For the end date, enter the end date of the last task or milestone in the phase. Next, we'll use a simple formula to subtract the start date from the end date. That way your worksheet will automatically calculate the length of each task in your Gantt chart. For example, we entered C2 minus B2 into the duration field for our first task. If you started in different cells in your worksheet, be sure to adjust this formula accordingly. Place your mouse on the right corner of D2 until you see a black plus sign and drag your mouse down to paste the formula into the remaining cells in column D. Now we'll add the chart that will become our Gantt chart. Click the Insert tab and select the Bar Chart icon. Choose Stacked Bar from the 2D Bar section to add a chart to your worksheet. This chart most closely resembles a Gantt chart. You should see a blank chart in your Excel worksheet. Right-click the chart and choose Select Data. Click the plus sign under the Legend Entry section to add the first data set. Name it Start Date, then click on the Y Values field and select the data in the Start Date column. Repeat this process to add a second entry called Duration making sure to select the data in the duration column for the Y values. Click the horizontal axis labels field and select the entire task name column. Make sure you check the show data in hidden rows and columns checkbox so your Excel Gantt chart will still work if you decide to hide any of the columns or rows in the worksheet. Double click the chart title text box to select the full title, then enter the name of your project to replace the generic placeholder text. Copy the start date for the first task in your project into a blank cell below your task list and format that cell as a number rather than date. Repeat this process for the end date for the last task in your project. Because Excel stores dates as numbers, Excel will convert the start date for our first task from 9-1-22 to 4-4-8-0-5.0-0, while the end date for our last task becomes 4-4-8-6-5.0-0 instead of 10-31-22. Now select the horizontal axis of your Gantt chart. Right-click and choose Format Axis. Under Bounds, there are fields for Minimum and Maximum. These are the first and last dates in the chart. Change the minimum value to the number you got when you converted the first task date into a number and the maximum value to the number for your last task date. Hit Enter to remove the extra time from the beginning of your chart. If the labels on the horizontal axis of your Gantt chart show numbers instead of dates, click the Number section of the Format Axis window to expand it. Change the category from Number to Date. Now the horizontal axis will show readable dates. Under Units in the Axis Options section, you'll find Major and Minor fields. These determine the timeline intervals for your Excel Gantt chart. Enter 7.0 into the Major field to set the project timeline in your Excel Gantt chart at weekly intervals. And if you want a monthly Gantt chart, set the major field to 30.0. Select the vertical axis, right-click it, and choose Format Axis. Tick the Categories in Reverse Order checkbox. This also moves the date axis to the top of the chart where it's a little more useful. Click on the first portion of a taskbar with two colors to select all of the bars in your first data series. In this chart, our first data series is represented by the blue taskbars. Then click the Paint Bucket tab and expand the Fill section. Select No Fill to remove the blue bars that precede your task start dates. Click on a single bar twice, but don't double click it. Click it once to highlight all the bars in that color, then click it again to highlight a single bar. Click the Paint Bucket icon and choose the color you want from the Color Fill options. 
It might help to differentiate project phases from subtasks by giving phase taskbars a neutral color like gray. You may also want to color milestones yellow or gold so they stand out easily from other tasks. Repeat this process for the rest of your bars in your newly made Gantt chart to change their colors. And that's it. You've created your very own weekly Gantt chart in Excel. That was probably a few more steps than you bargained for, especially if you have to do that every time you need to create a new Gantt chart for a new project. That's where Team Gantt comes in. Gantt charts that are simple, beautiful, and super easy to manage and update is exactly what Team Gantt was designed from the ground up to do. Forget having to keep track of multiple Excel Gantt chart files for each project and wasting time making sure all your charts are presentation ready. Team Gantt makes it easy to create and manage your projects with shareable online Gantt charts. You can create a beautiful project plan in just minutes with Team Gantt. And because everything happens online, it's easy to track project progress and collaborate with your team in real time. So sign up for free today. That's it for this video on how to create a Gantt chart in Excel. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd love it if you could return the favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.